Hello and welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing why India has been unable to design a fully indigenous jet engine. Jet engine technology is a complex and specialized field, and developing such engines requires expertise in multiple disciplines including mechanical engineering, materials science, and aerodynamics. So, let's take a closer look at the reasons behind India's struggles in this area. Jet engine requires high-end processed superalloy materials and high technological infrastructure to build which cost crores and crores of money. Jet engines are used in supersonic jets, aircraft, turbocraft vehicles, static industrial machines, etc. Jet engines are one of the most challenging and complex machines ever made, they are really engineering marvels. Best fighter engines are produced by only a couple of companies in the world with decades of experience. India cannot ask whole world to give this sophisticated technology because only a handful of nations could manage to develop modern fighter jet engines after decades of experience, trial, huge expense, infrastructure, and ambition. Fighter jet engine is one of the most challenging machines ever made. Even China couldn't even copy an old British jet engine for three decades and they had to restart their jet engine project from scratch. And they are now an advanced stage of developing a modern fighter turbofan jet engine. China, who is an industrial and manufacturing giant, is not a giant in this field but a learner. The Indian aircraft industry is dominated by one big public sector player, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. Starting out as a private company, HAL was nationalized at the time of independence. It is involved in both designing and manufacturing aircraft. Alongside HAL, the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, is responsible for research and development until the economic reforms of 1991 private players were not allowed to operate in the aircraft industry in India. Another significant factor is limited funding. Developing jet engine technology is a costly proposition, requiring significant investments in research and development. While India's defense budget has been increasing in recent years, it still lags behind other major powers, and so funding for large-scale projects like developing jet engines can be limited. Historically, India has relied on foreign suppliers for key components and technologies for its jet engines making it difficult to fully indigenize the production process. This dependence on foreign suppliers can slow down the development process and hinder progress. It was only in the 1970s, India really started exploring high-level technological frontiers. In this period, India started nuclear and space program and got remarkable success. In 1980s, India started building its first supersonic fighter jet plane Tejas. India previously developed a subsonic one also called Marut and 147 No, of it served in IAF and fought in 1971 war, and now the first version of it, Tejas Mark I, is ready. Yes, a remarkable feat because, again, most nations can't even think of developing a fighter jet indigenously, let alone an engine which is the most complex part of the fighter. With continued investment and innovation, India may one day be able to design and manufacture its own world-class jet engines. Thanks for watching. 